So I'm Paul from Grievous Angel. I'm a UK garage, dubstep, UK funky producer. I've done tunes on uh, soul jazz, key sound, devotional dubs, forefront, all kinds of labels. So the way I'm going to use um, this box is for DJing production, uh, mostly in Ableton, a little bit in Logic. Um, I'm going to be using the faders to actually do do the mix downs because uh, it just feels really good. It just feels like a proper mixing desk. I'm going to be having me three channels of EQ per channel, um, three bands of EQ per channel. I've got me sends and returns here. Um, I'm going to be adding some EQ onto the uh, sends as well. Because it's so easy to assign it to different controls within your software, you can just get really, really creative with it. Plus you've got, you know, 16, um, 16 uh, buttons to trigger clips with and to turn EQ on and off with and to do kill streaks and stuff. You, you just got an awful lot of control in one box. So in the old days, you'd have been spending a grand for something like this, and it probably wouldn't have worked. Now you're spending uh, under 300 quid, and it, it, it's all bang on. I've got most of the controllers that are out there. I started off with the old UC33. Um, I've got the I've got the uh, uh, touchpad stuff. I've got uh, the APC40. This is a very different proposition because it's all about the touch. It's all about the control. If you go back to the old days of DJing, where your principal means of interaction with the music was by spinning back vinyl. Uh, touching the record and touching the mixer. This is your serious mixer interface. This is what a proper top end mixer feels like. So if you're looking at this and you're thinking, I've got a cross fader and I've got channel faders and I've got some knobs and I've got some buttons, what's the difference? But the difference is in how it feels, how it, how it changes the way that you actually interact with the music because I mean, the guys will tell you about all the technical details that's in here, but what it actually translates into, it feels like about 1500 quid's worth of top end mixer. It feels like a grand's worth of proper controller with the buttons. It all just feels really, really nice. So when you're actually in the mix, you can just get properly into the music. You don't have to worry about whether or not the controller is going to stop working or the fact that you've got a little squidgy toy button that doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do. Um, it all just feels really sweet, really slick. And if you actually know what you're doing when it comes to doing digital DJing, it, this is the kind of kit that you actually need to make a difference when you're in a club. 